the McNutt family, led by 14-year-old Cassie, are using their light display for a good cause. We are raising toys for kids who may not be able to get any this year, and we are using our light display as a way to raise that. Last year, Cassie collected clothes for the Kamloops homeless population. Last year, we worked with um, Out of the Cold Shelter, and we raised clothes for all the people, all the homeless people who didn't have any for Christmas because it was very cold. And yeah, we raised a lot of clothes, a few truckfuls. It felt like Christmas morning every time I got we got new gifts and or new clothes in the bin. Like after every day, I'd come home from school and it'd be full, and it was really exciting and handing them out and seeing everyone smile and stuff was really nice. We've been doing our light show for probably 15 years and uh, every year gets a little bigger so we just wanted to start giving back to the community. Well they focused on those in need of clothing last year, this year they decided to focus on children who might not see much under the tree during the pandemic. Yeah we, we wanted to make sure in a tough year like this that uh, every kid was going to have a chance to have a present that we could help with and uh, you know, and there's so many donations this time of year going on, and uh, we, if we can just do our part, we would uh, hopefully that works out good and we can help some kids. Well, today we actually just picked up a longboard, um, and we have basketballs, we have girls like products, like um, makeup and stuff, and we have um, some toys for like developmental toys for infants we picked up, and yeah. We have lots of stuff that we yeah. got. A great need this year for uh, ki uh, toys for and gifts for teens. Teen boys and girls uh, is really huge this year. I mean, we'll take any gift. Um, they'll be able to use it. Uh, but teen girls and boys is a really hard one uh, that they're mm -hmm. really in need of this year. And also developmental toys for infants is really a, a large need this year. It took Don nearly a month to set up the lights, which number somewhere between 12,000 and 13,000. During that time, he kept the design hidden from his family until they were lit for the first time on December 1st. The display honors frontline health care workers. This is our heart uh, heart themed all throughout here, as you can see. Um, that's to all our frontline workers, our health care workers that are, you know, right in the middle of it right now. And uh, we want to make sure that they know that we're thinking about them. Uh, lights go on as soon as it gets dark. Yeah, it's on a timer and it goes to about 10 o'clock each night and then Christmas Eve it'll go all night. To see the lights or donate, visit the McNuts at 5215 Dallas Drive. For Cast in a Kamloops, I'm Brendan Kurgan.